Hey guys, Heidi Easley here and Texas Art and Soul and I teach women how to make many teaching paint parties. I'm going to show you how to paint a very simple butterfly. So I am doing this in honor of the three hour dream big masterclass. So um, it's going to be live in the Dolly Suite. So as you come on, if you want to know more, um, go ahead and let me set this up real quick. Go ahead and tell me type Dolly if you are interested in learning more. And then I should have this set up for you in just a second. I have to select a post. Hold on one second. Let me see if it'll let me select the live. I'm doing some bot stuff. Hey, good evening. Good to see y'all tonight. Okay, let me see if it works. So if you type, hold on, not yet. Don't do it yet. I'm doing some computer work. So for those of y'all that are doing stuff online sometimes you have to do okay so y'all type dolly and let me know if it sends you a message hey debbie from padre cindy from alabama hi linda hi christine and um, okay so in honor of i'm going to be using some royal fuchsia i'm going to be using cotton candy <laughs> Debbie Dolly, you might have to type it without all the exclamation points for it to work. <laughs> and then somebody can let me know if the thing worked. Um, okay, so I'm going to be painting a butterfly today. Now, for those of y'all that are new to me, um, I'm going to be watching for your comments. Oh, thank you, Shirley, for saying that. She says, I've learned so much from you. Thank you all so much. So for those of y'all um, in Paint Party Headquarters, just know that one of these trainings that I was just doing right now, um, is was just filmed for y'all recently. So <laughs> Debbie keeps saying Dolly with all exclamation. I think you just have to put Dolly by itself and then it should. Okay, Mary says you get the message. Okay, great. So it's working. So that is a, an auto bite, a bite, not a bite, an auto bot that I use. Okay, so how's everybody doing tonight? Um, I'm going to be using lots of pinks because I want to... Um, basically just kind of talk about um, dreaming big. And those of y'all that are gonna join me with the three hour masterclass, the virtual in the Dolly Suite, um, who is freaking excited? Like, I am so, so excited. Um, and I wanted to let y'all know, so Friday, you can still sign up after Friday, but it's gonna cost $50 more. So um, I want y'all to know, right now I'm using Royal Fuchsia. And what I want y'all to know is that I'm basically rewarding the early bird people, okay? So not only with $50 off, and you're gonna get some other things too. So if you wanna know all the details, um, just type in Dolly. Oh good, somebody else, Dorothy said it worked too. Awesome. Oh, hi, Lana. Hi, Rhonda. Rhonda. Hi, Christy. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer's going. Awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah, um, we have some really cool things. You know, as I've been getting y'all's messages, um, especially all the ones that have joined, I've been reading all of them and taking notes. And and what I have found is that a lot of, a lot of people, and let me know if this is you, um, as a creative, and I'm trying to go kind of, well, I don't know why I'm going slow, because I'm gonna make this the same. I'm just gonna go right over that. <laughs> um, as a creative, oh, thank you, Bruce, for sprinkling the page with love. Um, as a creative, a lot of times we have a zillion ideas. Now, I doubt that's you. <laughs> I know it's me. I mean, just today alone, um, our brains just don't stop, do they? Like. They just go, go, go. And um, how many of y'all out there, like, you kind of struggle, like, even to watch TV, unless it is, um, Audrey, I'll put on closed captioning. Let me try to show my mouth a little bit, too. Um, I'll put on closed captioning at the end of this. It won't let me do it while it's live, um, but I will do it at the end, I promise. Um, but, but I think what happens is that we... Um, we have so many ideas and sometimes they can be so exhausting. And, and unless I have like a really, really good series, um, Hey Arlene, good to see you. And um, unless I have a really good series I'm watching, I struggle even to watch TV. 
So even like right now, I was like, you know what? I want to paint a butterfly. Like I don't want to just watch TV. Like aren't y'all like that sometimes? We just, we go, 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 go. And we don't, we don't stop. And I think it's like that creative, <laughs> creative energy in us or something. But what I have found has been the biggest struggle with people is that, that are creative like me, is that we have so many really, really good plans. And those of y'all that are just joining, if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, just type in Dolly. Type in Dolly and it'll send you some more information. Plus, it'll give you a chance to um, be notified via text if you want to know when I'm going live for special announcements, for stuff like that. Come here, Blue. Come here. Come here. You want to come sit over here? Want to come sit? Come on. Come here, buddy. What are you doing over there? I think he got some dust on his mouth. Looks like he's got some. Come here. Hey, you want to say hi? Yeah, let's say hi. You want to say hi? Oh, Blue says hi. He's so cute. <laughs> um, so anyway, I don't want to get paint all over him. So anyway, what I have noticed is that um, is that we get you know very very overwhelmed because we have a zillion ideas. And it's hard for, I don't know about y'all, let me know in the comments if this is you. Um, yeah, Jennifer says, so many I don't know where to start sometimes. So crazy. It can be very, very overwhelming. So what I wanted to share with you is that I know, like, one of the things I feel like I'm really, really good at is setting goals. And then no matter what is happening, I'm going to go towards them. Like, not just like this crazy outlandish goal, but like, how do I take the next step? Like, how do I take the very next step to go to the next goal? <laughs> there's, there's Blue. He's hanging out at the back. <laughs> um, yeah, he is, he is a cutie pie. Um, and so that's a lot of that dream big three-hour master class is, um, you know, you'll get kind of like a workbook to go along with it because the, the overwhelm and then the, like, basically not even sure what to do with that overwhelm is what what can really get people you know the the worst thing you can do as a creative is stop creating you know how many of y'all on here you know have painted and that's your escape but you get so overwhelmed that you can't even find the energy to pick up your paintbrush because you're just you're just stuck in it right I mean, I know I've been in that where I'm just like, nope, not today. I can't even do it. When really going to your paintbrush for me is the thing that helps the most. And let me know if that's true for you. Um, you know, putting on some good music and listening to a podcast or watching a, a cheesy Hallmark movie while I paint, like all those things just kind of help rejuvenate my soul. But sometimes when we have so much expectations on ourselves, or we failed before so we feel like we can't do it again we get stuck you know um yeah bruce says that's me gal so overwhelmed <laughs> jennifer what is it that you say only three percent write down their goals yeah it is crazy three percent of people write down their goals oh and i got this wood and i actually share this wood resource in my paint party headquarters. So I can't give you all my secrets, but I share this resource in my paint party headquarters. And so if you're in that group, um, we just did a huge thing about it. Um, so yeah, so only 3% of people write down their goals. And today I was talking to a friend of mine and I was talking about my bankruptcy. You know, for those of y'all that are new to me, um, you may not know this, but <laughs> I'm a big failure. I failed many times. Anybody else out there a huge failure like me? Um, I have failed many times so much that um, we lost everything. We went bankrupt. We lost our house. And I was telling her um, about how I had to kind of forgive myself for such a failure. Um, I'm going to move on to cotton candy. Cotton candy. Um, I had to, you know, I was talking to her about how, to, uh, how I had to forgive myself for that failure. And, um, and one of the things that was really, um, was really, really like emotional for me when I was talking to her this morning 
was, and I didn't even remember this, like, until I started telling her about it, but, um, you know, we obviously, you know, because we went bankrupt, we lost our house and, you know, we lost our cars, all these things happened. And um, we had built on a room for Pixie. You know, we thought that we were going to, um, you know, raise her in this house, you know, where I lived in Panama City Beach. And so we had built on this room. I had built a, um, I had built a, you know, actually painted like all of this Tinkerbell, you know, mural, all of this stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I've told you this part, Jennifer. Um, yeah, this part I haven't shared a lot with people. I share a lot about like, you know, the moment when the, when I was drinking a little too much, <laughs> but I don't know if I've shared this with y'all. Um, but I wanted to share it because when I was talking about earlier today, like I just teared up, you know, because I know God always has a plan and there's always a purpose. But, um, but you know, we had done this room and we had like, you know, all the Tinkerbell murals painted on it that I had spent hours making it perfect. Her little rocking chair and um, we had this little area where, you know, I could picture her. We put a little lantern and a desk and it was going to be where she could, um, she could, you know, study. I mean, like I had pictured her growing up in that house, like this little bitty house, you know, on the beach that we ended up losing through bankruptcy. And, um, and you know, I'm not an organized person for those of y'all that know me. Um, I am kind of a mess, you know, as far as like creating and stuff like that. Well, I took pride in her closet. Like her closet was perfect. You know, her grandparents gave her all these clothes and, um, and I just made everything. I mean, everything like, you know, organized. I had like all of her six month, you know, I had all of her 12 month, like anything that people had bought me, I had organized it perfectly. And I was so, so excited about that closet. And so whenever we left that house, we had taken everything out. We had sold most of everything. And um, we got ready like the last day to leave. And I looked at that closet and we had all those white shelves put up. And I said, um, I said, Bobby, we got to take down that closet. It has to come with me. There was like something inside me that said, like, I know I'm losing everything, but I have control over taking this closet. Like, you know, and so I had my husband who was like, you really don't need to do this, you know, but I was being selfish at the time. And it was something I, I felt like I had to hold on to. And I, I, you know, me and my husband literally took all of those shelves out of the closet and we put them in our apartment. We had an, like an outdoor closet in our apartment. We literally just set them in there. Didn't even put them up because it was in our apartment. And I feel so bad now of how um, how petty I was being. But I, looking back, it was like something I had to grab from that room. You know, I had done all this mural work. I had put so much effort. You know, this was my baby. My I have one kid. And I really was like, you know, how can I take, I mean, I, and I, I was crying thinking like, that's the only thing I can take from that room. And it just made me so, so sad and so, I think a lot of times we have these these big failures like bankruptcy or losing everything but we think that because we have failed so bad you know that was before I was 30 I was like really like I'm that big that big of a loser like that's what I kept telling myself and then you know because of my bankruptcy that spurred my surfboard business which spurred me being an entrepreneur which spurred you know me doing paint parties which spurred me opening up paint party headquarters and leading to you so now when I talk about my failure and my bankruptcy and my many failures since, um, it's almost like now looking back, I can see why. Like I see why those things had to happen. When it was happening, no, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt real bad. But now that I feel like I, I'm older, you know, I'm in my 40s now, I'm older and I know a little bit more. Um, now when things happen, you know, it doesn't mean that they don't hurt, but it's like I know that there's a better plan. And does anybody agree with that? Like, you can see it at that moment that, okay, this sucks right now, but there's got to be a better plan for it. So now when I talk about or think about my bankruptcy, I honestly get excited. Like, I know that sounds very weird, but I get really, really excited because I know without that, I would have never become the person I am now. And um, I would never know those feelings. I would never have um, spurred me into this entrepreneur life that I love so much, this whole paint party adventure that I love so much. And so, um, 
So whenever I talk about, you know, the masterclass and the three hour, the, the dream big masterclass, I feel like I know, I know, like I'm a person who now, I see where I am realistically, I know where I wanna be, and I know the steps I need to take it to get there. And so that's the coolest part about that is it's, it's not like this, you know, three hour rah, rah, let's hope, hope for the best and hope it works. No, like, let's get a plan together. You know, um, like, like I said earlier, 3% of people or 3%, that makes me so sad. 3% of people are actually writing down their goals. That's it. 3%. So most of the people are going through life with no direction, no direction at all. Let me know if, you, um, if you're a person who writes down their goals. And it's okay if you're not, but you need to be honest with where you are, okay? So I wanna know who is writing down their goals. And during that time, yeah, because of the future doesn't lie in the past, which is why Windshields are bigger than the rear view mirrors. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Um, Rachel says you have to trust for something better. Yes. And, um, you know, I, as I was talking to my friend this morning, we talked a lot about how we have to forgive ourselves. You know, um, we, can, we can go through life, like, sad about it all, or we can figure it out and go to the next step and go, okay, how can this help me? What is this going to do to help me? And so it's really, really important um, to know that it's okay to forgive yourself, to figure out like where's the lesson in this and how is this gonna help me be a better human? How's this gonna help me be a better mom, a better person responsible with their money? You know, like one of the big things that, that bankruptcy taught me was I need to have multiple ways of bringing in money. And, um, and that's a lot of what I teach too. You know, like don't just have paint parties you know, have affiliate income. You know, when I do a, a live for a central stencil, it doesn't cost any of you anything extra, but they give me a little bit for pushing their stencils and their products are great. And I only push, hear me out, do not affiliate for any product you don't love, okay? Just do not do it. Um, so I only, only talk about products that I use and that I love. And so um, that's another way to make money. And so there's, there's many, many ways to make money. I'm gonna mix a little bit of metallic with this cotton candy so I can make a little bit of a lighter. And so, um, and so I, a lot of y'all, you know, like we have, we have forgotten to forgive ourselves, you know, and we've carried this shame. And for me, once I started talking about it openly, it was like the shame went away. And I don't know if y'all have ever experienced that with something that, that you know, you've had, maybe financial, maybe something else. But once I started talking about it, it's like the shame of it went away and I was able to move forward. And so for many, many years, um, let me see if I have enough black in here. For many, many years, I did not talk about it. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I have got to forgive myself, you know? You have got to forgive yourself because if you're not forgiving yourself, you know, then you're not able to move on. And you're every day waking up and telling yourself the same story. I failed, I can't do it this time. Well, I failed before, so I can't do it again. And did you know that the most successful people fail the most? You know why? Because they're trying the most. <laughs> they're doing things over and over and trying again and again. And once I got that in my head, I was like, oh, that makes so much sense, you know? But we, we put ourselves through this turmoil of we're not allowed to fail. And I think that's a bunch of BS. I think that um, most of growing is, is failing. Um, you know, the owner of Spain, she's a billion-dollar company. You know, she was not a person who was handed money. She, you know, made it herself and makes billions of dollars now. And just real, you know, the one that owns the, the pantyhose type thing. I've actually never worn any, but I heard they're good. Um, I just don't like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like them. I hadn't tried them, but, um, but really great company. And she, um, she failed a zillion times, you know? So, I mean, her story is so incredible. 
but she would have never gotten to the point that she's at if she wouldn't have ever tried. And that's when I was reading a lot of y'all that have already, and those of y'all that are just jumping on, if you um, type in Dolly, just D-O-L-L-Y, you'll be able to see all the information because I'm giving some, you know two big bonuses away for and $50 off if you sign up by Friday. So it's gonna go up to 147. So you'll still be able to get it after Friday, but you're gonna miss two of the big bonuses and you're going to miss um, the $50 off. So if you're wanting to like really hone in on your goals for the rest of this year and for um, 2021, you're not gonna wanna miss this because I'm gonna be live in the Dolly Suite. That's why I'm painting a pink butterfly right now um, in honor of her. I'm gonna be live in the Do Dolly Suite and that's where I'm gonna do this. But yeah, I just really want y'all to, to know that we have to forgive ourselves and we have to move on or we're not going to be able to help anybody. And, you know, it's so true when we talk about, um, you know, like they say in the airplane, you got to put your mask on first before you can help anybody else. It's so true. We, especially all of y'all women on here, we always are given to others first. Always. You know, it's just our nature. And then we wonder why, like, we have no creative energy left or we, you know, or run down or maybe we're resentful. You know, a lot of people, um, oh good, Deb already signed up, that's awesome. Um, a lot of times, you know, we're resentful of like, you know, they can just run around and be happy and why can't I? You know, I learned, I did the, um, the four day intense Tony Robbins, which was way amazing. Um, and he talked about, you know, everybody has pain, but suffering's a choice. And that hit me like a ton of bricks because I thought, how many times have I held on to something and chose to hold it on longer whenever I know that's not what God wants for my life, you know? So I'll repeat that again. Pain is going to happen. That's inevitable. We're all going to have pain, whether it's health pain, whether it's loss, whether it's, um, you know, unexpected, whether it's a bankruptcy, you know, like I had, um, whatever it is, we're all going to have pain, but keeping the suffering forever is a choice. And I want y'all to know, like, you don't have to have that. You do not have to live in suffering. It is okay to find joy and gratitude and be grateful for things in your life. Like, not only is it okay, but when you're that way, it starts to rub off on other people. You know, when you smile at somebody, when everything's not so doom and gloom, you know, like, fun, have some fun, <laughs> have some fun, you know, even in the midst of all the, the craziness, we have to be able to find something we are grateful for. And, um, and it's not like that just, Okay, today I'm going to choose to be grateful, and that's it, right? That's not how it works. You have to actually practice it every day. So when I find myself in a funk, and I'm like, dang it, you know, or I'm comparing myself to other people, you know, I'm a very driven person, right? And I know a lot of you watching are very driven. I'm going to add a stencil to this. Um, but yeah, when you find yourself in a funk, and you find yourself like, not sure what to do, that's when you got to make sure you're being grateful the most. Okay, so I'm thinking either paisley or flowers. Let me go get the other one, and would y'all please vote and let me know um, which one I should do. Let me find the flower one. Flower or Paisley? Which one do y'all think I should do? Oh, thank you, Rachel. Oh, Debbie, so I share the shape in my um, paint party headquarters. So I have all the information on where you can get this design for, in paint party headquarters. So for those of y'all that don't know what that is, we try to keep some of our, our secrets for our paint party headquarter ladies. Um, if you're in there, you'll be able to see it. I did a big live on it yesterday. 
Okay, so Paisley is, we got Vicky Sam Paisley, Gypsy Paisley, Lynette Paisley, Sharon Flower, Deb Flower, Sandy Paisley, Jennifer Flower. Oh my gosh, it's like 50-50. Let me read a few more and then I'll make a choice. Let's see. Flower, Paisley, Flower. Y'all are like almost 50-50. <laughs> oh my gosh. Flower, Paisley. Dang it. What am I going to do? I'm going to go any, mini, miny, I don't know. Blue. Can you pick? Blue, which one do you want? They're all like 50-50. Okay, Paisley, Paisley, Paisley. Okay, we had four Paisleys in a row. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try a Paisley. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, since this is still wet a little bit, I'm just going to um, lay it down and then not move it for a minute. Okay, so I don't know for sure how this is gonna turn out. Again, we are doing this live. I'm gonna use a little bit of turquoise some sea breeze turquoise, just to try to go a little bit on. This is one of my favorite light colors. It's like a light turquoise sea breeze. A little bit of both. Yeah, maybe I could do paisley and then go back in with some flowers. Okay, this is like a Martha Stewart essential stencil, or no, it's a Martha Stewart um, stencil dabber. Actually, I need to buy some of the essential stencil ones. I heard they're really good, but they were out when I was buying them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, let me make sure y'all can see this. Yeah, Jennifer, I know it, it was, it seems like there was a lot for both, but I think you're right. I think the Paisley was a overall, I have used and abused this stencil for a long time. This is one of my favorite stencils, if you can't tell based on the amount of use. And how many of y'all on here actually clean your stencils? Um, I don't. If you have a tip for that, <laughs> please put it in the, please let me know. Um, so I'm one of those people that I just paint it, then I set it to dry, and then I just keep collecting paint on top of it. Um, and I, I want to find this stencil again. I found it in Michael's one day and I really, really want to buy another one um, because I love it so much. It's kind of like when you find your favorite earrings and you know they're going to eventually wear out. You just got to buy, it's like you want to find them again so you can buy another pair. But you don't know they're your favorite earrings until you've worn them for several, several weeks. And then you realize, oh, like these, like these earrings I have on. Now that I have them, I love them. Oh, Victoria, thank you. Offload the paint. I'm doing it. She is so good to help remind me of that because I always forget. And then I have a lot of runoff. Okay, so I might have to get a little fancy up in here or move it around a little. I'm trying to only go on the light pink. And this is an experiment. We are about to see together if this was a positive or a negative experiment. <laughs> so hopefully we can have a good result here in a minute. I hope, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Let's see, Jackie says I do put, the, put them in a tub of water as soon as I'm done with them and let it soak off. That's a great idea. Jennifer says spray with awesome cleaner from the dollar store, huh, very cool. If I don't see your comment and read it, I'll make sure to go back so I can look at these later too, in case um, I don't see it. And thank y'all for joining me late night painting um, on the butterfly. I'm hoping it kind of starts to come together. So we will see. Okay, so that's, okay, I think I got all the, Places. Okay, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if this, I'm gonna peek. Eh, it might be okay. I said, huh. <laughs> it might be okay. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Okay, so I have some ideas. Let me find my liner brush. Let's get serious about this. Okay, so we have our little stenciling on there. Now I'm gonna grab some, um, just with my liner brush and start adding some big details. I'm gonna put my stencil thing in my water because if not, I will forget about it. 
and then it will never be the same again. Um, so let me kind of clean this up a little bit, and then I'm gonna add some, some dots or some details to the side. And if y'all have some ideas, I am open. Open to your ideas. Okay, so let me see if I can do some, kind of maybe some, I don't know if I want lighter pink or a purple. Yeah. Maybe this purple. What do y'all think about the dots being purple or should I put in, should I stick with the turquoise? Yeah, I don't like that. What do y'all think? Should I stick with the turquoise or do the purple? Oh, good. Y'all like the paisley? Oh, a Scott Bright Scrubber. That's a good one. Let me see what this purple does. White. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it does need some, some highlights, doesn't it? Okay. Yellow. Oh, yellow. That would be pretty. Let's start seeing what this white will do. Let's do some highlights in here. So I, a lot of times, do like wet on wet painting so the paint won't be all the way dry and I'll still go ahead and paint on it. As long as you get a big chunk on your liner brush, it usually works fine. And for those of y'all that want to be notified when I'm live and find out some more about Dolly, just type in Dolly for those of y'all that are just now joining. Okay, so yeah, sometimes it can turn a little gray. So you got to rinse every once in a while. And yeah, I think I'm going to do some dots on the edges and then also kind of outline this stuff as well. So for those of you that have shaky hands, so a lot of times when I've drank a lot of coffee or had, you know, too much root beer, I like root beer and coffee. So if I've had one or two root beers and a coffee during the day, then my hand will shake. So I have to um, use my pinky to hold it or rest my whole entire hand. So sometimes if the paint is wet, it can be tricky so you just want to kind of watch where you're going like you're riding a bike you're watching where you're going not where you are and then it just helps that paint pull and then a lot of times when it's when it's simple paintings like this it's just a matter of you know getting the basics on there and then just adding your own little touch you know just something fun that you can add your own little touch so in a second, I'm gonna put some really cool dots on here and really just kind of create this. And then when I spray it, do y'all use a spray on your, your wood signs? I usually use a spray polyurethane. So for those of you that um, have never used a spray, there's many kinds out there. They're all great, but the one I love the most is a mini wax polyurethane. And it's, um, it's really easy to use. And I just spray it on, you know, give it 10 minutes to dry. I do a light spray on the front, a light spray on the back, and it gives it kind of a glossy look. So it looks really, really cute. And it's just, um, it's just really, just makes it better if you're putting it on a door. And what would be cute too, is if you took this and just put like a little greenery wreath behind it, or maybe one of those stick wreaths. I don't know what they're called. Does anybody know what, I'm not good in the wreath world. I don't really know that world. But if you took like a stick wreath, is that, is that what it's called? Ooh, glitter or 24 karat gold on the edges. Deborah, you know my heart, don't you, girl? Yeah, I am a 24 gold paint. The metallic 24 gold paint is one of my favorites. And of course, glitter on everything. Yeah, I got in trouble with my shape glitter, Deborah. I had some really great shape glitter that I used for that summer sign. And um, it was 
everywhere and my husband hates glitter and so I have to always like okay I'm gonna go back to the just the glitter glue but then I get real excited about something and then I find the shake glitter somehow it, I think it finds me let's be honest the shake glitter finds me <laughs> and so find it and then it, it just it's just so fun Okay, so I'm gonna try something. Let me see here. I want to see if I do, I don't know if that's gonna show up enough. Can y'all see that? Yeah, Jerry, so if you have parties during COVID right now, um, definitely, yeah, you're gonna have um, a lot of parties with masks, um, if it's, you know, at a family's house, sometimes, you know, it just depends on that family. But yeah, mask and then spacing. So what I have been recommending to um, a lot of my girls in Paint Party Headquarters is, you know, obviously follow what you need to do in your, um, in your area for your safety, you know, because that's, that's your health and I'm never going to tell you to, to do something against what, you know, is being advised for you to do um, but there's always ways you could do like you know a Facebook live and like right now you know if I had a link I could be selling blanks for these butterflies and I know like let me know in the comments if you'd be like yes I would like to buy one of those I'm not selling them I'm just trying to prove a point that like yes some people would want to buy that um, and so there's things like that where you can do a live and you could do custom stuff you could do um, all kinds of stuff. So we, we share a lot of those, those tips and tricks inside Paint Party Headquarters. And for those of y'all that don't know what that is, we open the doors September 13th for um, Paint Party Headquarters. So if you're wanting to learn more about how to make money doing your paintings, your crafts, um, that will be coming soon. So make sure you watch for that. Yeah, I think I need a darker purple and <laughs> get rid of the husband. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a good one. I guess I'll pick him over glitter. He's he's a good one. It's a tough call though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I think I need a darker purple. It like in person, I can see it really good, but I could see where on screen it would be hard. Yeah, maybe Evie, I'll put white. Let me try that too. Let me finish up with my purple so it doesn't drive me nuts because I started it. And then I'll add some white. Okay. Okay, let's see how the white shows. Yeah, yeah, so like, you know, people wanting, so like Jackie's talking about a pattern or something like that. So that could be something that you could, you know, okay, for, you know, this amount of money, three bucks or whatever, click this link, then I would have a pattern, um, something like that. So there's lots and lots of ways. Um, what I don't want you to do is, is think, you know, because of COVID, my art business is gone. You know, because of COVID, I, I can't do anything with my art because with online now, there's so many, so many opportunities if you open up your mind to that. And so um, we'll talk more about that too in the masterclass. So those of y'all that are interested, just type Dolly and then you'll get some information about that as well. Okay, I think the white is showing up way better. What do y'all think? Denise, don't forget about your 24 karat gold. I know I gotta find it. Pixie, um, I love her so much. She was helping clean my art studio the other day. Um, and I don't know. Oh, there's my glitter. I don't know where she put my 24 karat gold. See, I don't really complain because if, if she's cleaning it, I just love that it's being cleaned. So if I have to find stuff later, I'm like, that's fine. As long as it's being cleaned. Okay, so I think the white was a good call. Good job, thanks for telling me that because it is harder to see. Okay. So now I can add a little bit of glitter and then it's just a very fun, simple butterfly. Let's see, um, I would do turquoise and white dots. Yeah, that would be pretty, the turquoise on there too. 
I think too, like a little bit of um, just some lining in here. And then I'll show y'all the stuff I'm gonna spray it with. And then I think we're good. I think it'll be a good little project to hang up. Okay, so let me show you the glitter glue. This is my favorite. If you've never used it before, this is the kind that I do not get in trouble with. It's the Craft Twinkles. And then let me find my spray. Okay, this one's my favorite. Some of y'all might have a different favorite, and you can, of course, you know, share that here if you want. But um, this one's my favorite. So it's a um, mini wax polyurethane fast drying, and I just get this at Lowe's um, or at um, Home Depot or Walmart or Michael. I think they even sell it at Michael's. But basically, I just grab it, and then once this dries all the way, I just spray it real quick with a little spray, and then it just seals it. And then I'll spray the back as well. So it just makes it a lot easier. All right, thank y'all so much for joining me. Um, if you don't mind, I would love if you could follow me. That would be amazing. And then if you want to know more, just type in Dolly, um, D-O-L-L-Y, and then you can get um, text notifications from me. There's like a little process where you can go through like this little um, mini bot. It's like a robot thing. But that way, anytime I go live and announce new stuff or do lives, You'll be notified. And then also, if you want to know more about the Dolly, the masterclass, so $50 off if you sign up by Friday. So you basically have three days, three days. So when you sign up by Friday, you not only get $50 off, but you're also going to get the work day with me, which means you're going to be able to watch me work, create a challenge. It's going to be our biggest challenge ever. So you'll be seeing where I click. You'll also have a Q&A, so five hours of just watching what I'm doing, which I know a lot of people are like, how are you doing this? What are you doing? Like, <laughs> and you can actually see. So if you're paying $97 for the Dolly Masterclass, you're also going to get that bonus plus the $50 off because on Saturday it goes up to $147 and it goes, you don't get the work with me day and all of these little extra bonuses. So if you click on it, you can see it and I cannot wait to share. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.